Welcome back. We do have our next series up, Tundra against Gaming Gladiators, where we've got Tundra sitting up near the top, 7 and 5, tied up with Extreme Gaming currently, and Gaming Gladiators near the bottom, but with a series in hand, 5 and 5, with more games to play, and an important one here for Gaming Gladiators to try and kind of scramble out of the bottom four, because we've got 8 teams in each group and only 4 go through, it's turning into a bit of a bloodbath here. Pure. And 9 class, going up hell. Robson. Uh oh, he's in trouble. Ooh. A battery assault with blood grenade. Nine class trying the body blocks, but Thompson's dead to Quinn. Another game where we see first blood going to the mid laner. Nothing's happening, it's just a four fling. Tank is suddenly back to full HP. One tango, flag bearer creep. If he pops magic wand or healing lotus, he'll heal way too much. Tofu getting killed in this bottom lane, and Quinn gonna come out on top more often than not. Up at top, Pure gets back behind his tower. Mid lane, Quinn is actually applying a lot of pressure on Topson here. He's going for a kill. He's trying for it with the shrapnels in mid. Topson's dead. Big network difference already between the two mid laners. First, he got that extra gold. So now he has power treads immediately starting to apply pressure. Two points in shrapnel. And yeah, things are falling apart for Tundra. Techies with no blast off, so Tofu will probably get this wound with the cogs. Looks like it. Tofu grabs it. Brewmaster's coming in, but you've got to know, like, Tofu knows there's no you stuns here, right? Out. Yeah. They've got a lot of damage in onto them. Is Tofu just saying, hey, I'd rather die? Thunder God's Wrath will secure the kill. Tofu, he wants Whitemon. Whitemon has no boots. Has Windlace and boots on the clockwork. Yeah, right on top of the ET. Zeus and Techies both coming in to try to kill off Celery here. They've got the reactive taser, a bit of damage out of 9 class, blood grenade thrown, but here's the sniper! Ho ho! Ha ha! Kills the Techies off! Ulti, Tofu still lurking around the mid lane, and they're going in. Just dive! Go for it! Sniper with the onslaught of damage, the rocket flare to finish, and that would White dive Mon onto White dead. Mon. Tofu is going to come in with another round of battery assault. 8 to 2, 3k lead, about to become 4,000. Nine minutes in. He's even in a situation where he might like force Toby to primal split. He'd need a little bit of help. Speaking of help, Ace up at top. Thunder God's Wrath and the Morphling damage. Ooh, not quite enough until the spirit comes. Celery attempting to save him, but the Sunray too delayed. That's a nice kill there for Tundra. Getting the Zeus involved as well, but now in comes the rest. The cavalry over the hill. Tofu and Quinn, the dominating sniper. Another kill for him. Maybe gives Quinn a little bit too much hope here in pushing out this mid lane quite far. So a sticky, a blast off. Toby runs in. After assault doesn't come quite fast enough, but Tofu traps the Brulings inside the cogs. Zeus is here with an ET stomp to help out. And Quinn is finally going to get brought down. Big streak to take, and Topson the one to claim it. Maybe a bonus kill here, the cherry on top. Tofu, and he dragged around and jumped upon again. White Mon slays the clock. Half HP Morphling. Six wand. One healing lotus, and an ET sat behind him to try and protect him. Waveform's ready. Tofu straight towards White Mon with the battery assault. Now onto Pure and traps him in the cogs. This could be big for them. The ET stomp gonna sleep the clock, but Ace has dodged it. Sidesteps the sleep, gets the call onto Pure. Waveform's ready in one second, but doesn't come up fast enough. No dunk, sadly, for Ace though. I've seen much from Nine Class. Uh, you know, some kills here and there, but he's been collecting. XP in the bottom lane one because their XP room got stolen, so we need to recover somehow. Ace. Slept up. A ton of damage from Topson. We'll take the axe down. It looks like a catch from Nine Class on the Tofu as well. Trying to escape and slip through out of the cogs, but he's dead. And this is that mid-game potential that Tundra has. A lot of magic burst damage. It's <laughs> Tuesday, isn't it? Topson. Oh, Tofu's in on him. Topson, Heavenly, Heavenly Jump was jump. already used. It's on cooldown for 20 seconds. Assassinate is coming. That should finish him off from long range. Oh, never mind. It doesn't. Yes, fiery it does. Spirits will. JK gets the kill with the Fiery Spirits. Vision behind tower and some vision in the lane. All right. up on Garaccio. No time lapse. Hey, he's got Shikuchi, though. And the only stun they had there. It was like blast off into ET sleep. That's not going to work against a slippery hero like the Weaver. The Brewmaster, in the meantime, has gone pretty deep over here with the Thunder God's Wrath. Not quite enough to kill off Ace, and Toby's the one to die. Hyper-aggressive <laughs> from the Brewmaster. 
because he's... Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one! Nice class. Ooh, Dorachio gets the time lapse. And now Hookshot. Tofu's in. Game and Gladiator is bringing heroes down here. And look at the sniper from the high ground. Quinn, he's peeping onto Pure. More flame will get across the high ground of the camp, but he's burnt alive. Sunray and sniper shots take him down. Magic Wand, then Dragonlance Power Treads has extra 90 health and Trust the Shovel. I don't remember seeing the change to Trust the Shovel. Being... Okay, so health has been increased from 75 to full phylacteries that he's gonna use. Six second cooldown. So, ooh, first point of contact. Nice cogs. Hookshot misses. Trying to get through this with a Sunray, but look at that damage. Nearly blowing him up completely. Nine class looking at Duraccio. There's Invis Weaver gonna come back into the fight and take down the techies. Toby kills one, then splits. The swarm is on the Brulings, but he's still running forward, surging in onto this Phoenix, cycloning him up, and actually getting onto the sniper now with a blink call. Axe is ace, ace is axe. He's onto White Mod, but Quinn is dead. Supernova's Ooh, supernova. there, but he's gonna get dropped no by Pure's Morphling. Right next to it to get the kills. Three down, four, and Tundra to sweep this fight with ease. It's not enough. Ooh, when he splits, and if you're not playing around Axe, you're definitely gonna get caught. Ooh, hook shot. Not quite there. Shorter than you think. Durantia's still giving chase on this, though. Maelstrom damage with a swarm on him. Minus 15, minus 16 armor, and the rocket flame to finish. Ace is catching up slowly. Master has not been farming. Oh, they caught the Tofu. You see how quickly that can die. Tofu barely staying alive. Pure down to half HP, no mana remaining. All being used up and burnt as Duraccio, no BKB, is getting controlled up. Duraccio does survive while Ace in the mid lane. He's blown up nine class. Thompson with the mines nearby trying to chase into Ace. Ah, he's got him here surely with a final arc lightning. Let's see. Smoke. Action, they're gonna find Tarachio again, BKB available, not the target they, they wanna have first contact with, but Gold. good jump! On the Zeus! Supernova's there, and Thompson's blown up! Cyclone's on the axe, Toby tried to save his mate! Tundra, full retreat mode now though, as Duraccio, he's giving chase! Pure is into Weaver mode, Chikuching around, and Toby with a nice Cyclone there to stop the advance. But to Duraccio, his positioning has been really good this game. An ace. Zero deaths, ace. Another one. Jump. There are some proxy mines around. And with this blink call into follow through dunk, they've got the kill on the techies and ace. He wants to go for a little bit more here with the blade mail out. Pure taking a lot of damage. Another berserker's call. Pure with his BKB and another Gets dunk for another ace and the glimmer cape. He's getting away. The strength shift adaptive strike though does get the little bit of touch that Pure needed with that damage. Toby gonna be the one they jump into. Through master called up. And the hook shot there. Might get the split off still, though. Battery assault is super annoying and actually going to go battery. down. Never mind. A lot of initial nuke damage available to them with this Thunder God's Wrath to start it off. Jump on Axe. Ace. Duraccio. Trying to BKB and run away. The cheese. Ace back to full HP. Duraccio time lapse back to half. Pure. And Toby trying to run forward, but that's Ace Axe. He's pretty damn tanky while Toby's Clockwork jumped in the back line to force Pure away. Primal split. Not able to really get onto a core hero, pushing the clockwork back and getting him. Duraccio with a Shikuchi away now, though. Looking to pivot out of this mid lane with the ET Spirit scouting. They see Quinn. Concussive grenade to try and make a bit of a gap here, but Quinn apparently didn't get the memo that Pure is in behind him, and so are the Zeus and the Brew. First life down. Axe gonna jump in onto all the Brulings. First foot is flying. Quinn BKB's up. The Supernova's there. Pure trying to focus it down. For the Quinn. sniper's so low, and the waveform over gets the kill. Tofu zap. These Thunderbolts do so much damage. The Rancho's trying to fight basically 1v5 because he's lost Quinn the rest with of the team. Buyback. Sniper, yeah, he's the fight. Great time lapse to jump back in and ace. Oh, the axe. He's going to come in, swing around with a counter helix and the dunks as well. A double kill ace for Duraccio as Pure's going to wave form away and try to TP. Another ace with a call. call is going to find it here. The big AoE catches the Morphling and Gaming Gladiators. Off the back of the sniper buyback. They're trying to get a little bit more. Potentially winning this fight, but they've got to kill off Pure. He's wave formed away. Toby is trying to sprint and TP from the tree line, but he's clipped by the Gleipnir. It's what we always talk about with Gaming Gladiators. Ace, really the big carry in this team. As Duraccio goes for the BKB TP. 
But Pure says absolutely not. I know all about the Nightfall TP. I know how to counter it. It's raw damage with Daedalus and Kanda. Because they haven't been farming much. I'm seeing Timeless Relic on Phoenix. Axe is holding on to Dandelion Amulet. There's the jump. With the there blade belt. On to Pure. Shifting. Shot forward. He's shifting and surviving. So difficult to bring him down. Now he's going to turn the Satanic up. Oh, nearly shreds through Duraccio. The time lapse is there. The Primal split. Looking at Ace. Duraccio's BKB wearing off. Gaming Gladiator is trying to buy a bit of time here, create the space to get Ace back into the fight with the Sunray, but this Egg being there focused by the Pure, egg. the right clicks in and Pure gets the kill. Look at the Ace Axe now, destroyed by the Morphling, and Tofu going to get slammed by the Earth Splitter. Chase forward, oh, Morphling's on the Sniper, the Shrapnel's coming. Ho ho ha ha yourself. Getting peeped out by Pure as the Primal Split charges deep into this base, but the buybacks are coming. Durantio, oh, back oh my god, he's dead! Oh man. Die back Raccio in action, like, ugh, he died so quickly. This might be the game. Long minutes, 40 seconds without Axe. He doesn't have buy, he needs to take 600 gold. That's gonna be two set of barracks, and they need to fall back. Roshan respawning, so no need. There's a decent jump onto the pure Morphling, but lacking the firepower to He's finish him in. and... Dead. Oh. Double crit, 1200. <laughs> Who cares, Roshan Aegis? We just dive tier fours. Taking Duracha to half HP immediately, and that yield of the Ace Axe means there's no real initiation from him. self yules to buy a bit of space, Tofu in the cogs, but in comes Pure with a raw damage, and That's Thompson game. refreshes up. That's gonna be game. Three dead, no buybacks. Tundra come out swinging here in game number one. Pure's Morphling, absolutely monstrous. Diving the fountain, nearly dying to it, but they'll turn back for the tier fours now. Gaming gladiators, a Weaver and a Phoenix. No supernova, no Blanks ability to survive, and, and Duraccio <laughs> four hits to crack the Weaver there and a rampage, the rampage for Pure. Again. What a performance by him. GG's are drop. But really back and forth game. I would say. Wow. Ooh. Carry Wait. SF with a Marcy 5? I agree. Maybe they can kill 9 class instead. They have no mana whatsoever in this lane. Shadowfin doesn't have mana for a raise. Well, there's the lift into Stomp, into death. Not on the Shadowfin, but you're right. Onto the Marcy instead. She can easily close the gap, get Shadow Strike on you. The problem is he also doesn't have enough mana to PP out or anything. Top lane, Celery dropping low. And so is Tofu bottom. Yeah, I mean, 9 class runs back into Tofu. They'll get the kill on the Rubik. Ace will pick off 9 class, though, in a trade. Up at top, salary very low, like you say, with a sticky bomb on him. He's going to survive and heal back up. Would be okay, anyway. Yeah, I'm you're right. For him. A rebound, dispose, and the raises are there. Pure. Like you said, the raindrops and the one charges keep him alive through the Fade Bolt. He's <laughs> role-playing his Terror Blade. This means 9 class's Marcy has been left stranded in that bottom lane, so an easy pick-off for gaming gladiators. A kill on the white mon for Duraccio. This is not a hero by any means. <laughs> oh, top. Zeus is coming in for a bit of play time here. Duraccio speeding around with a stampede, but the blast off is there. Well placed by white mon. Four heroes rotate for the kill on the CK. A hero that I've played quite a lot, and I've got a really garbage win rate. Yeah, I've played 200 games of SF, and uh, yes, yeah, less Look than Look at SF again. Well, up the top lane, they're blasting off onto the CK. Thunder God's Wrath and White Mon's damage, while down the bottom lane, the SF is being dived. Gaming Gladiators and Tundra trading carry for carry across the map. Thing just Maelstrom. Cool. I mean, I guess it'll... Oh, is Quinn okay? He's being jumped pretty heavily. Nine class with a really nice second wave of initiation and a good telekinesis from Tofu, making sure there's no additional kills. Relieving pressure. <laughs> Tofu stuck around trying to defend that mid-tier one. Blown up. Now, Duraccio and Celery do arrive. Looking at nine classes, Marcy. Ace going to come in with a stomp. Maybe try and kill some Brulings on the way out here as well. And Zeus. I mean, so is Orchid if you want to go for it. But yeah, and definitely an interesting one. Yeah, and it definitely could work out for them. Well, Ace, debut of the Blink Dagger up at top. I'm going to kill off Toby here with Duraccio and Celery. And that's Duraccio with Armlet. And working pretty swiftly into his Orchid has the Blitz Knuckles arriving. Salary, of course, already with that mech. 
As the mid lane, aggression onto Quinn, throws the Sonic Wave, Ace in again with a blink of the Star Bot, the two, and Duraccio relocate to take them down. Tofu the one to come out with a double kill there. The gaming Gladiators have high ground vision they can play into. And pure Shadow Fiend gonna show on the map. Up at top, stomped and caught, pure is dead. Mid lane, they've got to catch on to Tofu. A kill on the Rubik would be nice, but Quinn's arrived to gal oh guard up the Rubik and save, save his body with a Sonic Big Wave Sonic and a Scream wave. and kill the Zeus. The Primal Split comes, Blast Off is nice. Mine's being dropped. A lot of damage here onto the eye on the CK, but they've got heals for days. The Wand and the Mech used up, Celery dropping low, nearly dead, finally finished off. But White Mon gonna get chased down here, and a follow through from Game Glad it is too strong. Nine class, even with the Unleash going, can't jump away. No one to rebound to, and Toby, he's been grabbed. The split ended, the rift is there, a team wipe emerges as gaming gladiators go from top to mid and stomp them. I've got a feeling you're not a fan of the Shadow Fiend hero. Uh, I don't know what's giving why do you me that. Say that. I don't know what's giving me that idea, but it's just an inkling I have. The white mon getting stampeded and stomped into the ground. And Toby with no primal split could also be a kill here for gaming gladiators as they lift him up and drag him into Quinn. The Maelstrom procs, the right-click damage, and this glyph near Root helping them get kill after kill. Basically become a better Shadowfin at this point. He is! Yeah. Zeus! Oh! Tops and just getting soloed! The Soul Burn! Takes him down, and Duraccio looks at the second kill. Oh dear! Now maybe he's they're disconnected done. and died. Oh no, he disconnected Duraccio. Didn't know that he disconnected. Seven minutes All right. already. All right. Oh, yeah, it's literally a. This can't be good. No, it's a lose lose situation, but yeah. what can you do? He's... <laughs> Send it to the producer as well so we can show it on stream. <laughs> All right, here we go. Unfortunate situation. You know, we'd love to have a 5v5 here, but unfortunately, Nine Class is out of things. It looks like Gaming Gladiator is going to give them a little bit of leeway on that top lane as well. Trying to take a fight. Kind of difficult. Last off, Thunder God's Wrath, everything missing. And no, that's, that's the thing, right? No Marcy jump means no real initiation. You don't have a blink on the Brewmaster, so very challenging here for Tundra to actually get involved in these team fights. Spirit Vessel's on the Centaur, so he can't blink just yet. He dodged it. Like one jumps yeah. in. Glycnir's here, though, with a blink stump from Centaur. And Nine Class. Well, whoever's microing him anyway, the Marcy, let's just call it that, he's dead. Proxy mines for the Rubik now as well. And a catapult into mid tier 2. Oh, 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 a jump in from Duraccio, finally with Shadow Fiend. A quick sonic wave there. And Gaming Gladiators. It feels like they've got this one in the bag, you know, a foregone conclusion. Sad situation, but they are diving. Tier 3s and a blast off from White Mon. This is a good move from Tundra. Duraccio, too powerful though, alongside Quinn here to bring him down. Techie's gone. Brewmaster with a primal split coming out. Gonna try and focus down the IO. But the overwhelming damage here from Quinn and Duraccio gonna be able to bring down Brueling after Brueling and kill off Toby in the end. Another three kills in a row here for Gaming Gladiators as they chase Topson down bottom, a fourth one. Taking down the entirety of the team and pushing up high ground on the tier three, just 21 minutes in. Now it's like disconnect or not. Gaming Gladiators, it felt like they were in a commanding position already in this match. Game was already in a really bad state for them, and this is like Game and they want to close this one out as soon as possible. Put them out of their misery. Pure. Stopped. Dead. With buyback. White Mons made the jump in. I'm just trying to make as much noise. Cause a bit of havoc here for Gaming Gladiators. The lane of barracks will fall. And they'll swing down to bottom lane as well. Thunder God's Wrath, but a nice blink stomp from Ace. Take his buyback. Gaming Gladiators do have a few low heroes here and unleash towards the IO, focusing Celery with Toby and the Marcy. But Duraccio able to stand his ground. Good blast off in again from White Mon. Zeus still being chased down and finished off by Ace and Quinn. And the fight continues with Duraccio and Celery withstanding the initial burst damage from Tundra there. He has to be one of the worst heroes in the game to come back with. Yeah, every death hurts so much. You know, we. Usually talk about anti mage or Meepo or heroes that, you know, Snowball, Queen of Pain, uh, heroes like that. Venom. Basically, Gaben says this game already ended. And Topson, he's going to be another casualty here. Heavenly Jump, not going to get him far enough away as the Stampede comes into play. And down bottom, Tofu. Let's see, Tundra. Let's get pure another kill, shall we? Yeah, I can't see him anymore. Rubik slips away while up at top. Relocate. Brewmaster. 
Nice reload. And this Orchid from Duraccio as a Bloodborne now has been tremendous as a pickup. Tofu's looking down at the bottom. High Ground Observer will getting placed there. A lift into that should some be onto a the kill. Shadow Fiend. They've got to kill him off here, surely. Kill the Rubik. Take down Tofu. They've slain the beast. A Rubik dead. Hey your guys, this is very smart you know, Everybody <laughs> experienced their pubs when things are not going too well. You can't get a kill, then you smoke up, add five, kill one guy. That's it. SF, what's the impact? There it is. Yeah. Unlucky situation. A tough one for everyone involved. Now, good sportsmanship from Gaming Gladiators. You know, a lot of sense being made by, uh, by Quinn.